So this trippy distortion effect has been a big trend right now in music videos for some reason. So here's a quick tutorial on how to do the effect and then two different techniques you can use with the effect in Premiere Pro. I made this tutorial already two years ago in Vegas Pro, so if you want to watch that, click the upper right hand corner and you'll be able to watch that. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep updated with new effects and new tutorials for music videos and so you can be ahead of the curve over other videographers. Also follow the IG because I see you guys use my tutorials all the time but you don't follow the IG. If you guys like this tutorial, I recommend also watching my Ultimate VHS tutorial. It's also a big trend in music videos right now and I'm only saying this because I want to make it known that I did it first before Max Novet. So like all the effects in this channel, we're going to be using Sapphire plugins. You're going to need Sapphire plugins to do these effects and in the Sapphire plugins we're going to be using these four effects. They all pretty much do the same thing but they're all different so I suggest you using each of them and playing around with them and see which ones you like. We're going to be using uh, Chroma and sRGB but the other two are the same thing they just don't have the special colors. So first you want to do is you want to see your Premiere Pro. I already was messing with it and we have your clip here right? So the first technique is I'm going to show you actually how to do it so let's just go Distort chroma, right? S underscore distort chroma, drag that onto your clip. And then now you can see we're already getting the effect. And a lot of people like this um, type of effect where it's kind of bubbly like that. I really don't like that. I like to take the blur lens and drag it up a little bit. And then I kind of get into it, as in I like to start off regular and then animate it so it gets like this. I really don't like the bubbles. But then I just mess with the amounts and everything like this so it looks kind of like that and trippy and this is just me messing with the effects so let me reset everything so I'm gonna go to the beginning and I'm gonna change the blur lens up a little bit like this to about right here and I'm gonna keyframe this blur lens and then the amount I'm gonna keyframe that and turn that to zero I'm gonna go a little bit forward I'm going to turn it to about 1 or to wherever where I like it. So let's say about here. And then I'm going to go a little bit further and then change that back to 0. And if we watch the effect, it will do this trippy effect. Now that's not what I showed you in the preview. So what I showed you in the preview is he should be outlined. So what I like to do now is I like to drag my clip down the timeline, hold Alt on my keyboard, drag the clip up and it'll make a copy of, this, of the exact same clip. Now make sure your first clip is selected and I just undo the distort chroma now there should be no effect. Now I'm just gonna mask over him so he would be normal and the effect is happening behind him. So make sure your top clip is selected, opacity, click this little pen tool and I just do a rough mask around him doesn't matter because I'm gonna feather it a lot and for time's sake we'll just do that. Now I'm gonna go a little bit forward and then adjust my mask. Oh sorry before you do that make sure you keyframe your mask path. Go a little bit forward adjust my mask. And then I might speed this up but for the most results for the best and perfect results you're gonna want to keyframe each frame but obviously you guys don't want to see me do that since it's the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to make a crude mask really quick. And then you can see that and then go a little bit forward and then readjust the mask. And I don't want to do the entire thing because that'll take so long or I might just uh, speed this up. So yeah. So I just finished masking and it looks pretty ugly right now because I did it really fast so I recommend taking your time and making it perfect as possible. But just, just clean this up, make sure you select your top clip and the mask feather, dude just feather that a bunch. And then right now no one can even tell the difference. So look at that, tribute effect 1, done. The second uh, part of this tutorial we're going to do the clone of this part 
and there's going to be two of them but with the distortion effect on it and I'm going to show you the way everyone does it which is the more bubbly effect version. So right now I'm just going to mask him out. So I'm going to start from right here to right here and that's where my effect is going to be. Now I don't want to copy the clip just yet, I just want to mask him out. So on the opacity tab, just make sure that's selected on your clip that it's selected. Grab the pen tool and then again crudely mask him out the way I showed you in the first part. But if you want the best results, obviously take your time and go frame by frame to make sure everything is perfect if you're doing it for a client or whatever. Since this is a tutorial, I don't want to spend hours doing this, so I'm going to do it really quick. When you first mask him out on your first frame, make sure you keyframe and then go frame by frame, but I'm just going to go a couple frames and then readjust the mask and I'm going to do this until my effect is done and I'm going to speed this part forward or cut it. Wires. So I just finished my mask and again, it's really crude mask. It looks pretty ugly. Like I said, take your time on it if you're doing it professionally. So now we need the background, right? Because there's no background. So select your clip, hold alt and then drag one down. Now go back to your mask and you can just delete that. And then now we'll have the background with a mask on top. So now we need to go back to our effects. Again, you can use distort chroma or distort RGB or any of the ones before. We do use distort RGB for this one. And just drag that on to your top clip, the one you already mask, and look now he is all crazy like. But then again, we can still see a hard edge. But with this effect, it doesn't really matter. But if you want to change that, just feather this out a little bit. Just a little bit like that. And then now we can do that. So now he's trippy. But now we gotta animate it, right? So I kind of like the way it looks now. If you don't, you can mess with these settings. Let's say rotate it a little bit. I kind of like it like that. I'm going to put the amount all the way down to zero. Go to the first frame, which is right here. Keyframe the amount. Go to the middle, right when his finger shows up. And we'll just animate the amount to about there. Go to the end and then put that down to zero. Now if you look at it, we'll have this effect, which is trippy. Now, now what, what we want to do is we want to do the clone effect, so that's pretty simple as well. Just make sure your top clip is selected, hold alt, drag that up. Make sure you select the top clip, the new top clip. Over here on position, make sure you're on the first frame, keyframe that. Go to the middle, and then just drag this horizontal, this is your horizontal settings. Just drag that left if you want to go left, and then go back to the end, and then we'll just... I like to just press this button, the reset parameter, and that goes back to the middle. So now if you do that, it does that. Or if you want, you can just delete the end and then just keep it to, to like a clone effect. Just like that. And then you can do this one more time by holding Alt, dragging this up. Now you're going to want to change this keyframe now, and then just drag this to the right. Now you'll have three of them. Three crazy trippy effects. That's it for this tutorial. Subscribe, follow my Instagram, leave a comment, and later is pretty fast. Thanks for watching.